Early this morning, the Colorado State ROTC was up and at them, ready to run the bronze boot up through the hills of Highway 287. And this is a pretty big deal for us. This is uh, the 48th year that we've done this. So um, it's a big tradition, especially with the boot being from a Vietnam veteran and a CSU cadre who started it. Well, I, I think because of the longstanding uh, uh, game, the, the history of the game, and that it encompasses more than just two football teams, you know, I think it's got to be one of the top rivalries in the country. But the rivalry isn't just between the football teams. Even the ROTCs get in on the action. Tonight they'll get back to Laramie and we'll have a little talk and they'll, they're fired up to, you can hear them yelling behind us, they get going. But uh, it's important to them and that's neat. It's the way it should be. It's a respectful rivalry. The nerves are running always, running the ball. We're in a, we're in a huge formation and it's, uh, it's a great feeling just to be in step with everybody else. Rivalries aside, this tradition is about much more than football. Football's just a small piece of what we're really talking about here, which is discipline. We're talking about respect and uh, honor of our country. And these groups, whether it's CSU or they're in Wyoming, at the end of the day, they're all representing the United States of America. And so they come together in, uh, in, a, in a competitive but very classy fashion. After exchanging the game ball at the state line, the Wyoming ROTC will now face the elements and carry the game ball all the way to War Memorial Stadium. For CBS News Channel 5, I'm Danielle Alvari.